Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Hello students and thanks for tuning into this video and I appreciate all the subscribers and all the people that watch these videos because I know that they can help. Uh, just a quick word before we get into the lesson. Uh, my lessons here in this online virtual classroom, Math Class with Terry V, are customizable and targeted for whatever you need, homework help or even a long-term uh, learning program. So if you like these videos, you like the way I teach, um, tell someone about my phone number, or tell your parents to go to the website and um, you know fill out some information and let me know all right let's go ahead and get into this lesson all right this video is about um, parabolas again we're going to extend our learning now and talk about how you can find the vertex of the parabola and uh, get it in a certain form so that you can find where the lowest part of the parabola is now what i have here is y equals x squared that's the parent function and you notice how when x is zero when you square that it's zero and that turns out to be its lowest point okay that's called the vertex now sometimes this vertex gets shifted around depending on the uh, complicated nature of uh, this version of the function but I want you to notice that when you know where the vertex is then everything else is symmetrical so in other words if x is negative one y would be positive one so you're gonna go back one up one Okay, the same in the different direction here. If x is positive 1, y is also going to be positive 1. So it's symmetrical. So you're going to go over 1, up 1, um, both right and left. Now for the 2's, when you square a positive and a negative 2, those would be 4's. So again, once you know the vertex, even if it's a shifted parabola, which you'll see in a second, you can go up 1, over 1, or over 2, up 4, because we're squaring it sure I get it in the right spot there and um, over 3 up 9 all right because of this XY chart shows us those values all right now for this lesson as we continue we're gonna put equations or functions in this form y equals x minus h quantity squared plus k all right so if we can put all of our equations in this vertex format for parabolas which are second degree quadratics this amount right here is the x value of our vertex and this value right here is the y value of our vertex so we consider the vertex to be called h comma k so we're going to manipulate the equation have an h value and a k value and that tells us where the vertex is here's our first example y equals quantity x minus 3 squared plus 4 notice how it's already in vertex form so that is the x coordinate of our vertex and this is the y coordinate of our vertex so the vertex right away we can tell is at 3 4 so we've shifted over 3 and up 4 and there's our vertex now remember on the XY chart for the parent function we go over one more and up one we go over 2 and up 4 because of the squared pattern and then over one more and up 9 So we can very quickly plot some points once we discover our vertex and we know that our parabola is going to look like this. Sticking with the blue color and very rough sketch of that function right there. Next example, our vertex must be at 2 and it's negative 3. Notice how the negative sign goes with it. So vertex positive 2, negative 3. Let's shift it over. Positive 2, down 3, 
and that is going to be our vertex. Notice how again it comes from the parent function so we're going to go over one from the vertex up one over two up four whoops one more and over one more and up three so it's three nine okay and it's symmetrical about the vertex and I am going to hopefully place this in the right spot alright let's graph it so you can see the green parabola from the second example notice how it shifted over two and down three otherwise the shape is the same so the key is finding the vertex now on this one x minus a negative 5 gives us the result we want. Okay, If it's a plus, remember that the vertex form needs to have a subtraction sign after the x. So this becomes the x value of our vertex, negative 5. And over here, it's a positive 2. So we've shifted the vertex of the parent function to the left 5 and up 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. Everything goes in a, a symmetrical pattern from there. Over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, and over 3, up 9. And then, then it's symmetrical about the vertex. So, plotting the points and then graphing it. So as you can see with our three examples, we need to have a function uh, quadratic here in the second degree that is in vertex form, as I showed in the previous screen. Um, next video is that I'd like you to check out is related where we have to put the equation in that form. So we have to do something called complete the square, which you might have heard about before, so that we can fi figure out where the vertex of the parabola is. All right, check that out. And if you like this video, tell other people, share it. And uh, if you want to be my student and for me to tutor you and help you out, let me know. Go to the uh, website or call my toll-free number. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.